Hello folks, Verlin Kenninger with Demco Products. Today we're gonna to go through the Demco Commander 2 tow bar. This would be the uh, connection from your coach to your towed vehicle that you're towing four wheels down behind your motor coach. The Commander has a 6,000 pound tow capacity, slides into a two inch receiver. Uh, what we've got here is we've got, you'll see two different holes, uh, basically uh, about two inches apart. These are to uh, allow you to uh, either move the uh, tow bar slightly further away from the coach or tuck it slightly closer to the coach depending on the location of the receiver on the coach. You also notice in the receiver here we have a drop. This is an inch and a half drop or it can be an inch and a half rise. And what does that mean to you as the user? Many times uh, you don't have to purchase an additional riser drop receiver with our tow bar. We want to be towing as level as possible, meaning the pin in point on the vehicle behind the coach and the coach need to be within three inches of each other. Being able to drop this an inch and a half or, or turn it over and raise it up an inch and a quarter sometimes mitigates that uh, additional riser drop receiver. Uh, cables, safety cables here, as you can see, are included with the tow bar. Uh, we have these nice clips that hold them on to the tow bar. Also on the head of the uh, receiver, there's two adjusting bolts here. As you uh, do hook up, if you are slightly off level uh, within that three inch range, we can slightly adjust the uh, tilt of the, uh, of the head of the hitch for um, equal towing. Okay, folks, you'll know that we've, or you'll see that we've moved the tow bar over to our display stand here to kind of go through and show some of the rest of the features and benefits of the tow bar. You'll notice that I have the tow bar in the stored position. This would be to the left side or driver side of your coach. There are two storage pins on each of the arms of the tow bar, and you'll see these little red storage plates here. How this works is the tow bar can be lifted to a 45 degree angle slides out from underneath the storage pin, storage plate. Here's the storage pin to restore it. Just rotate it around and drop that pin right into the slot on the storage plate. You'll notice that this tow bar can be pretty versatile. We can store it as shown here with one arm going in each direction. We can have them both to the left as you've seen a minute ago, or we could have them both stored to the right. From there, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the tow bar. I'm gonna take this arm and turn it out. As you can see, this is an independent self-supporting arm. So at whatever angle I drop the bar at, that's where it stays. No worry about this dropping down and landing on your toes. A little bit more about the bar um, and why we do the independent self-supporting arms. You'll see some of our competitors, when you take the bar out of storage, you've got two arms that you're fighting. So the way our bar works is really nice from a hookup standpoint. Let's just say I have both arms like this stored on my coach. I drive up my tow vehicle. I'm walking up, notice I'm not tripping over either arm. I can grab the arm on the passenger side, rotate it down to the angle that I need slide it out, do my hookup. I don't have to run around the vehicle, I don't have to run around the coach, and I don't have to stumble over another arm. As I, now I can grab the arm on the driver's side, pull it out, slide it out, and again, connect it to my towed vehicle. Independent self-supporting arms, they're not falling down and crashing on my foot, and I'm not tripping over either arm. This is a non-binding latch system. So as you can see, when I pull the arm out, you see a positive latch there. And you see that on, on both sides, a nice positive latch. You'll know when this bar is latched and ready for towing. It's also a non-binding system. So even though we try to unhook with everything in the straight position, sometimes we get a little bind on it. I'm gonna simulate a bind. And notice how I did that. Just a one finger and that bar slid right in. On the driver's side arm, you'll note we've got a storage rod here. What this is for is for your coiled electrical cable. 
So once you have everything all hooked up, hook the electrical cable up to the coach, to the uh, towed vehicle, take a couple rungs of that cold electric cord, slide them over this uh, rod, put the safety pin in, and this rod will keep that cord from dangling, getting tangled up in, in your uh, tow bar arms, keep it from dragging on the highway. Again, we mentioned safety cables are included. This gives you a little better picture of the uh, holsters that hold the safety cables in place. They're not dragging on the highway either. Again, this is the Demco Commander 2 tow bar, 6,000 pound tow capacity, a limited lifetime warranty made in the USA, and it is a fully e-coated bar from one end to the other end. Uh, what that e-coat does is it is a nice, sleek black finish and is very resistant to rust and uh, road chemicals, etc. So it's going to be a bar that uh, is going to be visually nice for many, many years to come. With that, that concludes kind of our overview of the Commander 2 tow bar. If you have any other questions, uh, please see our website at the bottom of the screen or call our 800 number. Be glad to help you out. Thank you.